Hey folks, welcome back to another From the Armory two minute gear check. Those of you that know, these are a little over two minutes, so don't be surprised if this thing shows like 10 minutes or so. Uh, today, another piece of gear that we're really happy to always have with us in the field. Johnny and I were talking about knives, particular knives. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Becker Knife and Tool line. Uh, Ethan Becker's a personal friend. I know a lot of people can say that, but I truly feel it, so it works out. Uh, today we're going to talk mainly about the Becker BK-16 drop point. They call it the short. Uh, it comes with a pretty basic sheath, but it's one of the better sheaths in an over-the-counter over the type knife. I mean, it's not a custom knife. It's got a really good sheath. I've modified mine by taking off the secondary retention strap. Uh, and there's all kind of great things you could do with this knife. It's just a great everyday carry knife. If you were hiking and you just wanted the one knife to have at your hip, this is it. It's always... It's very light. It's a uh, like 0.4 pounds. Mm -hmm. So it's probably slightly less than that, but I think it says like 0.4 is what it's officially listed as. Um, designed by Ethan Becker, produced by K Bar now. Uh, so it's a partnership they have together to produce this knife. Amazing knife. It originally came out as what they call a tweener line. Uh, that's what we called it, kind of in the Becker head forums and all. And then since then, it's become the BK16, the BK15, and the BK17. Um, I'll show you, but these have been modified. This was the BK-15. It was patterned after the BK-5. It was more of a, uh, like an upswept kind of chef type looking knife. Excellent slicer. Uh, really capable knife. Unfortunately, it's no longer in production. Same with the BK-17. <laughs> it was, it also, totally different blade shape, right? Um, like a clip point, but again, just not in production anymore. I don't know what happened there. Never really delved into the story. Never really. Let me tell you about all the cool knives you can't get. Yeah, these are, these are the ones you can't get. But again, the 16 is still in production, and that's a drop point. And like I said, uh, man, it's like 56, 58 Rockwell hardness, so it's going to be really easy to sharpen. It's 1095 Crovan, which K Bar has dialed the fuck in. Uh, it's really excellent as far as easy to field sharp. If you carry a small DMT type stone with you, you can touch this up on any wet stone you have. Um, easy to clean. You take you know one Allen wrench, take the handles off. I'm a big fan of that, so you don't have, to have two different Allen wrenches working opposing sides. Risk cutting yourself if you slip. Um, you can upgrade these. These things are infinitely upgradable. You can get different aftermarket handles. There's a lot of people that make them from uh, Dogwood's Firefly handles to you know uh, LMF Joe does uh, Micarta handles. You can even get Micarta now through K Bar, and I've got some of those on here. Uh, you can strip these, you can modify them, you can do all kind of great things with them. All you got to do is get on the forums or get on the Facebook page, Becker Knife and Tool, and just see all the great things that people have done with these. But for an everyday knife, I don't think that knife can be beat for the money. It's uh, it's about, you can get them for about 70, 80 bucks, but MSRP on them is like $130. And like I said, you can get them Tomars, K-Bars, Knife Center, uh, I mean, just it's so many great things, so many great companies out there that sell these things. For those of you that still have a star card, go on to the uh, AFES website and it might have, because that's where I got my uh, yeah. that's my BK2. Yep. My BK2 I got from. Okay. Uh, yeah, the BK2 is kind of like the the bigger brother to this knife. It's kind of the drop point, thicker knife. Uh, this again, one's like. Again, a good all around, good camper. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for like, depending on what, I mean, what type of look. I mean, I carry a, you know, a folding blade for EDC, but I don't necessarily carry, I mean, I prefer right. fixed over fold. Yeah. However, um, for con concealments, like, I don't want to get when I'm carrying my, my sidearm or right. they have a good folder, uh, a, you know, my pocket, a good light, little, little light. I don't need anything. I need to connect something to a, to a rail system or something like that. But, but if you, if you prefer fixed blades, then the BK-16 or BK-2, uh, the knives that you can get over here, which leads me to my next question on this is the sheath that comes with it? That's the stock, well the stock sheath is that one, but I've modified it so more like this. Yeah, and secondary. that's what it'll look like in a package. It's got several or different attachments, Molly, Pals, whatever the hell you want to call it. Somebody's crying about it, I'm sure. Uh, this is a pretty cool belt loop sheath, you know, as far as or a belt loop attachment. Mm -hmm. It's Velcroed and it's got a snap on it. It's got a uh, several different retention, like tie down type see things. See the secondary retention dummy here. Yeah. Where, uh, you so that's what I did. Is I just cut that one off. I didn't need it. Um, yeah, I like to have it a little easier grab, and that's just too much 
at a moment's notice. Now be careful with these types of knives, like when you see these type of retention systems, if you want to use like a paracord wrap or something, you want to wrap your handle, right. you you will not be able to use these type of retention systems because they're not adjustable. Yeah, they're, these aren't adjustable at all. This is, this is very tight for what it is. Uh, sometimes if you get like an aftermarket handle attachment, scales they call them, you buy something like that, you throw it on, most of the guys that are manufacturing those know and they've got them pretty close to factory specs. But some people, I've seen some people that have to sand them down because they bought them they were too thick, they didn't know what they were getting, they're using a stock sheath. And if you go to buy Kydex later, you need to tell your Kydex maker exactly what you have. And you might even have to send them the knife to get them to modify the sheath for you or to get them to make the sheath around that handle. I was going to ask about Kydex. Yep, Kydex is available. I've only got, like I said, the one Kydex and that's for the 15. So. I don't do Kydex for the rest of these. I prefer nylon or uh, my neighbor made me this really cool leather sheath. Uh, awesome, awesome work, but he won't do custom orders. He just does them for friends. And then this is a, uh, this was an old like stock, like Air Force survival vest sheath. And it happens to fit the standard issue Ontario Pilot survival knife, but it also fits the BK-16. So I threw it in there. It's got a leather, uh, leather interior sheath and then the nylon that folds over for extra retention. But that's the micarta handles that you can get from K Bar. I bought these from Tomar's K Bars. I think they were thirty-five dollars. So thirty-five bucks, you throw them on. You can upgrade it with stainless hardware. You can, you know, you can strip the blade. You can do all kind of great things with these to fit your needs. And like I said, you're out sixty to seventy bucks maybe. And it's lifetime warranty. Uh, K Bar is excellent. They're right up there with SE as far as I'm concerned on warranty. Uh, yeah, man. I a lot of K Bar. But one SE that SE4, which yep. is one that you gave me, is like yep. everything else I have is 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 a uh, is K bar. So I mean it's you know, I mean it's the knife design for Marines, the yep. fighting knife. So you I mean it's harder to go against you yep. know history and, and yeah you can't you can't beat K bar as far as uh, American history. I mean they they're steeped in it. Um, like I said, this thing's just under half pound. The total package, the sheath and the knife, under half pound gives you a little pocket for you know a hone stone or you know, a, a fire starter, whatever you want to throw in there, just a cool little Velcro pocket. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can, you can dye these can sheets. Knife to, to start your yep, yeah, you can do that. You can, you can dye these sheets. You know, I've seen people rip dye them for different colors or leg tie down loops here. I mean, there's, there's all kind of great things with that sheet. And I know people love to bemoan the factory stock sheath, but I've got nothing bad to say about that sheet. I'm more concerned about the actual, the, the knife itself. And I know we gave a lot of websites out earlier or yes. where you can get them, but just like a, with a firearm, I, for me personally, I highly recommend that you go to an actual store that sells them yep. and put your hands on them. Because Murph talked about the handles and everybody likes, you know, the handle is where it starts for me. It's like, I yep. have a good grip. I can't have it slipping. I have to be able to use it in the rain, the snow, or any type of environment, any climb or place, if you will. Yep. And uh, for, for me, whether it's a... Uh, whether it's a, a sidearm or a knife, is I want to get, I want to actually touch it, feel it, and, and see what it feels like inside my hand. And the, the stock drivery handles to me are fine. There's people that you'll see like Glocks, they'll stipple them. Yeah. They'll take a, a hot iron or a soldering iron and they'll stipple them and give them a little grip. To me, that's just not necessary. I, I don't do it, anything. Eat my to hand it. up. I, the, the, um, everything I keep factory. For those of you that like lanyards, it's got a little bit extra of a lanyard opening there instead of just a standard drilled hole. It's a little bit wider, so you can throw some kind of or throw some kind of webbing in there. Um, man, I'm trying to think of what else to throw. I mean, I've, I've carried these knives since what 2012 for this particular model, the BK16. Mm -hmm. Got it at Ethan's house to use as a steak knife actually when he introduced them, and he brought them out for everybody. I took one. And I was like, dude, these things are badass, but. To me, I'm either a big knife guy or a really small knife guy. So to me, this was never something that I was interested in carrying. But since it is quite, it's it's grown on me quite well. I love that thing. Good all around, and it's you can use great it. Great all around. Like the spine is thick enough where if you were making out in the you know out in an environment where you have to make kindle and you had a kindling, yeah, if yeah, you got if you got a baton, you can actually punch your baton on it. So it's good good spine. And like I said, K bars warranty, fantastic. Uh, they're still made in the United States, uh, Olean, New York. Uh, they'll be at Blade Show. Actually, we talked about that on the podcast. They'll be there. Always happy to answer your questions. Ethan will be there. So if you show up to Blade Show and you want to know more about this knife, yeah, the, the old man will sit and talk to you for as long as you want to talk to him. Okay. <laughs> or until somebody else steals his attention. He's, I, he's on the move a lot. I, mean, I had that pleasure. It was yeah. enjoyable. So overall length, uh, we can throw the specs in the comments or whatever, the uh, description. That way you can get it at a glance. Overall length is uh, nine and a quarter inches. 
Uh, blades right about 4.3, I think, or four and a quarter roughly. And uh, not pounds, folks. No, 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 no <laughs> inches. Um, they're man, you, like I said, you just can't beat it. It's about an inch and a quarter wide overall blade. Great. I, I love that. Great everyday carry. Uh, my daughter has a couple. She's got a 15, the 16, and she's modified hers. Got different things on different handles, and I mean, no, damn near nothing in this house is, is stock as it is. Like we change a little bit of everything to fit our needs, and that's one of the beautiful thing about Becker knives. They're cheap enough and parts available enough that you can modify them. They're kind of like the Jeep of the knife world. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just going to keep going. They're always there. Hell of a warranty. You know you can lean on them, and there's plenty of aftermarket support for them. Just don't paint it purple or put uh, ring deer antlers on it during the holidays. Yes, please don't do that. So we would uh, appreciate that. And how much How much does it retail? Uh, 130 retail MSRP, but you can you can find them easily for $70 to $80 online. Yeah. And uh, you can actually I don't know what get they are on Amazon or anything like that, but the dealers I go through, they're about 70 80 bucks. Yeah, any sporting goods store worth their weight will carry uh, Becker knives. So. Absolutely. Um, trying to think, whoever this is for, the everyday hiker, that if you're if you're somebody that works in the woods, you're a conservation officer, or you're a, a hell, I've seen cops carry these, you know, mm -hmm. uh, on their rig or whatever. Uh, they're, it is full tang, but it's got a little bit of skeletonizing below the handles, uh, just small cutouts, just to make it a little bit lighter and more balanced. But it doesn't at all change anything about the knife. It's, it's not going to weaken it. Uh, I've never seen one of these fail, personally. I'm sure they have. I'm sure somebody's going to regale me with tales of this thing letting them down. But I've never seen it personally, and I've seen them used pretty harshly over the years since about, what, 2012, 2013 when they came out mm -hmm. uh, on Becker Mountain. And those guys will abuse and beat a knife, so it held up. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of great history behind these, a lot of great videos on there. Uh, I'm sure, you know, the algorithm will link you to other videos. And if you have any questions about it, hit me up or Johnny up about it. I can answer almost any question you have about these particular knives. Do. I think that's it. I think that's it. So appreciate you folks for tuning in. So we'll see you next two minute gear check. Thank y'all.